It's always great to see people who are active and can make a big difference in programming. For example here, this is a mail thread on the Kernel Lore website. An 8,450.8% improvement was created in a particular function of the Linux kernel. So let's talk about what this 8,450% improvement is about. So basically there's a function inside the kernel and stress ng was ran on this specific function. All stress ng is is a tool to load up and stress a computer system. It's basically a stress test for a computer system that can be used in various ways and can be used on kernel interfaces as well. As we see with the test ran here, we have some information here basically old numbers and new numbers, and then the percent change between those old numbers and new numbers. What we notice here is if we run stress ng on get random, the function here that was actually worked on and optimized, we see ops, which just means operations, and we see get random operations per second. So both of those received an 8,450% boost. Why is that? Well, this is because we have great people who are active, like Jason, the one who made this commit, and take the kernel and other software to the next level by reviewing and optimizing code, functions, what have you. We can see across the board there's pretty much improvement in every single one of these test benches, but the most significant, of course, is the get random operations and operations per second parameters. Anyways, looking through here, pretty much, again, across the board, an improvement with a plus or minus deviation on some of these. Anyways, let's look at the commit itself and what has changed and how things were worked out. We have the kernel C range random.git. Random uses a simpler fast key erasure flow on per CPU keys. Because of this method, this is how we had such a boost in the get random function in the kernel. But if we look over here, they actually drew out a flow for us. This is from Jason again. So the extract function looks like it generates some kind of a key here and then calls the cha-cha function. If the cha-cha function creates a new base key, then it goes back and copies some things into memory, goes back and gets that base C range key, and again, executes cha-cha. Otherwise, it will go down to the C ranges. There's a C ranges array of keys, and that also calls cha-cha, and now you generate some random bytes or you create a new key. Again, going back to memcopy, creating array of keys. So. That's what the flow looks like currently. And it's always quite fascinating to see this type of work from exceptional programmers who really focus on making our lives better in the Linux community. They take it upon themselves to perform a non-easy task. Not only do they have to have a great understanding of programming and mathematics, but they also have to read other people's code, do research, and really have an inept ability to realize patterns and apply ingenious solutions to those patterns. They credit a blog post on crypto that really went into depth about fast key ensure random number generators. And basically the previous blog post says that they went back through and made the code more in line with this blog or article. And if you're interested, I'll post a link in the description to all of these. It's a crazy read if you really want to get into it. This is quite a long blog post, but is absolutely fascinating to read. Going back to the commit, if we look down at the bottom, we'll actually notice the changes in the commit. So basically the function here that got changed up is a few functions here, get random bytes, which will return the requested number of random bytes and place it into a requested buffer. This is equivalent to reading from dev u random as it notes here. For less critical applications, there are these other functions here. So here's the full commit if you wanna check that out as well on what things actually changed from the previous application of these functions and how someone can make such a crazy improvement of 8,450% to a function by just understanding the overall system and processes very well, as well, as well as spending a bunch of time researching. What's even more exciting is this isn't just a benefit to the get random function, but there's multiple different functions that have been overhauled by Jason. And of course, they're not the only ones doing this work, but this is one just great example that I can show you and got me excited to share with you. So make sure to thank a programmer, especially in the open source community. They donate a lot of their time for free and they should be appreciated, especially for giving us things like the Linux kernel and other great open source applications. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.